Hi guys, the reason I'm making this video is because I'm um, currently I'm supporting my, my family um, and dealing with dementia and um, it's been obviously quite challenging as I'm sure other people will find as well and just seeing the people you love slightly decline is, is quite heartbreaking. Um, the fortunate thing I have is I've got a background in a uh, degree in psychology and worked as a psychologist for a number of years and my first job was in head injury. And in that job, I learned some really good strategies and techniques to, um, to help manage people with their recovery of how to manage their time and, and some effective tips and tools. And today, that's what I want to do with this workshop. Like, I'm just going to work through a few ideas with you, things I've been able to help my dad. Because currently, one thing we're facing as a family is he's now forgetting whether he's had breakfast and lunch and dinner. And I was trying to think of a strategy that could help him know how he, you know, whether he's eaten or not and how to mark it off and also keeping it really time bound so he can keep it clear what he's done and what he hasn't done and to make that really easy and accessible. And I thought about this and I thought maybe it might be quite helpful for other people for me to share that as well. For anyone else who's going through or has a family member with dementia and knowing what they can do in practical ways to support them. It's certainly something that we used a lot in head injury of looking at how we could use practical strategies to support our clients and it's something that I would really love to share with you today. So one of the things I've done is I've put together a whiteboard. Now, I just want to say to you before I show it to you, they say that bad writing is a really good sign of intelligence. So I'm just going to caveat that when you see my writing, because that's why I'm not a teacher. So this is what I've done. I put together like a whiteboard and what I do every day, I put down breakfast, lunch and dinner and I time bound it as well, as you can see on, over there on the side. So I put it for months um, and for each week so that they can also then help them with their memory knowing which day they're on. And what they do, is I also, because obviously one of the things is being forgetful, is I put a pen on, on the board so that they can mark it off each day when they've had breakfast and they can wipe it off and start all over again, whatever's going to be work best, best for them. But having something that's time bound like this and having something where they can easily see what day they're on when they've had breakfast, whether they've had breakfast, whether they have had lunch, whether they've had dinner, it's really, really useful. So that's my first tip. So I really highly recommend you can get these for like maybe five dollars, you know, in England maybe about two pounds from a pound shop. Get yourself a pen, get a permanent marker that you can just wipe off the board and just set it up for your family, your carers, and just so that you know, um, just to help them keep their independence. The other thing as well is if you find that they are really struggling with this, it's a really good indicator that something more serious is now going on and it might be a time to consider having that conversation as a family about what support you need to put in place to ensure that you know, you're keeping them safe. Um, and, uh, and I know that's a really challenging conversation to have and that's something I'll be touching on in later videos. But look, just a little technique, a little quick, quick tool, just when you're having you know, those initial stages of dementia where they're really struggling with memory and not knowing whether they've had dinner or breakfast and you're really worried that you want to make sure that they're eating and they're well, this is a really nice, easy technique that you can just apply to help them. Um, if you would like to contact me, I'm really happy to take emails and um, if I can help you with any kind of text techniques, strategies and also just a few things about what some things which have been clinically proven to help, I'm more than happy to have um, offline conversations. Thank you for your time.